Huh? Taylor, what are you cooking right now? <laughs> Let me turn my lights on. She's been in that damn studio doing her New York walks, and I've been living for it. But I just thought she was re-recording her albums, not... Oh. First today, she joins the Dang Academy for the Oscars. Now she's like, we get snow on the beach as a soundtrack for a movie, but on top of that, Mr. Lautner's anthem. I go back to December on. Anyways, hello my favorite people. Welcome to the channel, welcome back. What? Anyways, today we're reacting to some movie, some indie movie. It seems like it's, I don't even know how to describe it. One of those like um, indie films that you watch at that France film festival. But that doesn't matter because Taylor, they got Taylor Swift twice. Snow on the beach and back to December. I don't know how they did it, bitch. The budget must have been high, just not for the movie. But let's get into it. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video, and this is probably why I'm never gonna get sponsors. But at least y'all know I'm authentic and I speak my mind. There's that, oh. Yeah, that's coming soon tonight too. Olivia Rodrigo, I'm sat. I'm literally counting down the clock for Vampire. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for Taylor Swift. Let's see. Oh, by the way, Universal Music Group or whatever company they are, they've been up my literal asshole. They blocked um, my reaction to, you're losing me. Oh my God, first of all, that was an emotional roller coaster, but they removed it. So if you didn't get to see it, it's over on Patreon, which you should go subscribe to it. But say we've got Taylor Swift back to December, crying Taylor's version. Here we go. Again, I don't know what this movie is, but uh, best believe the Swifties will be present. Last summer, salt air felt like a dream. Am I an idiot? I might be, because this is August. No, because they give the same, they're on a beach. Like, I'm valid, right? Or am I just an idiot? Chime in in the comments. Snow on the beach gives the same vibe as August. It's just different seasons. Yeah. Dream in the rust on your door. I never oh, that's a different man. She's in the arms of another. Okay, they're kissing on the beach. Next moment, it's giving you belong with me, but modern day. Homegirl's a cheat. And it's unlike any other summer. Okay, so, so far what we've gotten is she's a two-timer and she's like feeling conflicted on the coast of New Hampshire. Yeah. At all. You never know the last time you see a place. Northeast house. A person. I knew I'd lose Susanna eventually. <laughs> Keep my thoughts to myself. A person. I knew I'd lose Susanna eventually. I just didn't know I'd end up losing all of them. Wait, is she polyamorous? Is that? Are they adding another, they're adding the P to the Rainbow Mafia acronym. They have to be. This is like the announcement, right? Like, is she in love with that woman? I just didn't know I'd end up losing all of them. So I should be celebrating with Conrad and Jeremiah, the but they won't even text me back anymore because you made things messy. I was just here theorizing, but no, it's legit. She's a cheetah. She's a cheetah. Hey, Jeremiah, I'm so glad. Conrad's gone. I'm going to see if I can track him down. I'm coming with you. I'm so glad oh. you made <gasps> I wasn't even paying attention to the guitar chords. Oh, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. I'm coming with you. I'm so glad you made time to see me. Yeah. Yeah. And to all you complaining, stop pausing the video. Shut the fuck up. It's a reaction, bitch. Made time to see me. How's life? Billy, you were my best friend. 
The thing that I'm also noticing about these Taylor versions or like her recreating her music, the production qual like this makes me so excited for Speak Now. Cause I feel like Speak Now 1989, like once she got really, she started transitioning from country to pop is when her voice really elevated. And the fact that these re-recordings like, like the songs are nostalgic, but the quality is modern, you know? Like the the sound production is so good. It's Her voice is so clear. Like it feels like she's literally singing to you like in front of you, you know, it's so good. We hooked up and then you hooked up with my brother. I wanna hold my titties. Their brother? Okay, I'm watching. Even if the budget is $5, which it appears so, I am watching this movie. Cause this is too much. They're brothers? And was that lady the mom? Oh my God, get her, Col Col he looks like a Colton. Get her, Colton. Get her. Masita. And then you hooked up with my brother and then everyone expected me to act like I was fine. And I wasn't. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have been. I was so- That's a cute sweater. That's the one that, uh. We don't talk about people's looks. You, you know. Focused on being there for Conrad. And I should have been there for you too. <laughs> With my legs open. I should have been there for both of you. <laughs> In the back of the Jeep Wrangler. Jer, the house has been put up for sale. This kid is just going through it. I can't even enjoy back to December because I'm just like, we're witnessing this man's trauma. Like, someone get him into therapy. And Taylor Swift too. There, the house has been put up for sale. What do you mean the house is for sale? Oh. What is she doing here? Sir, you didn't realize a body was standing right there. What is she doing there? I don't have peripheral vision. Crazy. What is she doing here? Low key, she looks like Ariana Grande. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Susanna loved this house, and the boys desperately miss their mother, and those two things are pretty tangled up in one another. Who's this? I'm hoping you'd consider the fashion. Okay, the boys, their fashion sense. Straight out of J. Crew, straight out of Abercrombie. I'm living for it. Backing out of the sale. Sorry, but. I don't even care about the plot anymore. I just want to stare. I mean, I don't blame her anymore. Honestly, congrats to her. Bagging both of them? Queen. Champion. Mm. Let's get back to December, though. Sorry, but I choose to put it on the market. I All these random people making cameos with no introduction. They just make facial expressions. Where, where do you play into the plot, ma'am? I don't know. I thought that when we lost Susanna, we lost the magic of cousins forever. <gasps> their cousins? She hooked up with their cousins? I mean, okay, I said this was on the set of New Hampshire. Maybe it's giving Mississippi. Maybe it's Georgia. Alabama, even. Maybe there's still a way I can bring it back. I've been so caught up into the freaking plot of the movie, I haven't even been paying attention to Tay Tay. Again, back to the production quality. It's just her voice is so clear. And like, again, it's crazy to think where she started out like with her first debut album self-titled Taylor Swift and the sound of her voice there it was so like squeaky and like I don't know pre-puberty and the maturity that she's gotten now it's good seeing you Valley. get a line I know she missed having you as a friend does he just have amnesia or maybe this is before okay maybe it's like jumping in time and maybe this is before he found out that she hooked up with his brother who was also her cousin I'm giving Colton the benefit of the doubt. 
You know, I just feel everyone's slipping away, and, and the house is the last thing tying us together. We're not giving up. We're gonna. Where else are we gonna hook up at if we don't have this house? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Figure something out. Together. What is she gonna fit? These teenagers, they're gonna join together to save the house. Okay. Together. I'm in. Me too. Who are you? I love this for us. You're so corny. Okay, now we've got theater kids involved. Um, we all know how that ha how that works. I was a theater tech child, so I get it. Uh, I'm gonna live for those characters. Oh, yeah, I don't think I could ever get over you. Is but she was under your brother. You can't get over her knowing that she was un like, be for real, Colton. And if it were me, I would need like five feet between them because this is even disrespectful. Nothing left between me and Conrad. <sighs> I've been calling him Colton. Look how the name's Conrad, but I had the C right. The C right? Is it Mirren on camera? I don't know, but I had the C right. I I. I'm a genius. There'll always be something between you and Kara. When I used to picture forever, it was. I was clowning in the beginning, but not there actually being snow on the beach. Y'all saw. <laughs> Wait, what if this is Taylor Swift's movie and like she directed it, and I'm sitting here clowning? I mean, I am, it's valid though. Cause if this is like her debut as an executive producer, someone tell her to get back to writing with her quill, the songs, cause. I see the Rotten Tomato reviews already. It was always with the same boy. The future Colton, is unclear. you deserve better. But it's still mine. Like they broke into the house after it's already been sold and still using the pool. This summer I turned pretty. I go back. Uh, anyway. I couldn't even really like appreciate the Taylor part of it because I was just bewildered by this, the plot. But again, the production value, it's just like nostalgic to listen to the music, but at the same time to know that like we're sticking it to Scooter Braun and that nameless man who he sold Taylor's music to. Um, so yeah, it feels like we're taking our power back and it feels like we're helping Taylor <clears throat> stick it to the man. Fuck the patriarchy, as she says all too well. John Mayer. Let's end it. Next up, we've got Olivia Rodrigo and Charlie XCX, her song. I think it's called like Godspeed or something like that for the Barbie movie. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and check out the Patreon for content I can't put on YouTube. Thank you for watching.